The best single thing you could have done on March 11th, 1942, when I bought my first stock, was just buy an index fund. Never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore, just like you would do if you bought a farm. You just buy the farm, let the tenant farmer run it for you. And I pointed out that if you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends, and I paused for a moment to let the audience try and guess how much it amounted to, and it would come to $51 million now. And the only thing you had to really believe in then is that America would win the war and that America would progress as it has ever since 1776, and that American business, if America moved forward, American business would move forward. You didn't have to worry about what stock to buy. You didn't have to worry what day to get in and out. You didn't, you didn't know the Federal Reserve would exist, <laughs> whatever it might be. Warren Edward Buffett, the American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist, discusses John Bogle, the founder of the Vanguard Group and a leading advocate of index investing. Known colloquially as Jack, Bobble transformed the mutual fund industry by introducing index investing, which enables investors to purchase mutual funds that mirror the wider market. He accomplished this with the ultimate goal of simplifying investing and making it more affordable for the average investor. Bobble's significant contributions include pioneering index investing, enabling investors to purchase mutual funds that follow the wider market. Another one of his groundbreaking achievements was establishing no-load funds, which facilitated low-cost investing in mutual funds. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about our new interesting and informative videos. Jack Bogle, many years ago, he wasn't the only one that was talking about an index fund, but he, it wouldn't have happened without him. The truth is it was not in the interest of the investment industry actually to have the development of an index fund, other than the index fund, because it brought down fees dramatically. And as we've talked about, index funds overall have delivered for shareholders a result that has been better than Wall Street professionals as a whole. And Jack, at a minimum, has left in the pockets of investors without hurting them overall in terms of performance at all. He's put tens and tens and tens of billions into their pockets, and those numbers are going to be hundreds and hundreds of billions over time. Buffett has previously stated that having a high-quality management team is significantly more crucial than other qualities. Such a team can effectively handle numerous issues, withstand threats and competition, and ensure that the company is reinvesting its profits in ways that strengthen its competitive edge. Warren Buffett's investing strategy is value investing. Value investing involves selecting stocks whose share price is trading below its intrinsic value or book value. This signals that the market is currently undervaluing the stock and that the stock will rise in the future. Let us examine his previous and current viewpoints. What do you consider the most important quality for an investment manager. It's a temperamental quality, not an intellectual quality. You need a stable personality. You need a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd or against the crowd. Because this is not a business where you take polls. It's a business where you think. Some people should not own stocks at all because they just get too upset with price fluctuations. Some people are not actually emotionally or psychologically fit to own stocks, but I think they're more of them would be if you get educated on what you're really buying, which is part of a business. John Bovell introduced the Vanguard 500 Fund, which tracks the returns of the S&P 500 and marked the first index fund marketed to retail investors. Buffett has been a proponent of investing in low-cost index funds for a long time, which offer automatic diversification by holding every stock in an index. For instance, the S&P 500 contains renowned corporations like Apple, Coca-Cola, and Amazon. He advises investors to regularly purchase a low-cost index fund that tracks the S&P 500 and continue to do so during both prosperous and challenging times. I would say that in terms of the index fund, I would just take a very broad index. I, I would take the S&P 500 as long as I wasn't putting all my money in at one time. If I were going to put money into an index fund in relatively equal amounts over a 20 or 30 year period, I would pick a fund. And I know Vanguard has very low costs. I'm sure there are a whole bunch of others that do. I just haven't looked at the field. But I would be very careful about the costs involved because all they're doing for you is, is buying that index. I think that the people who buy those index funds on average will get better results than the people that buy funds that have higher costs attached to them. The very nature of index funds is that you are saying, I think America's business is going to do well over or reasonably well over a long period of time, but I don't know enough to pick the winners and I don't know enough to pick the winning times. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know enough to pick the winning times. Occasionally, I think I know enough to pick a winner, but not very often. And I certainly can't pick winners by going down through the whole list and saying this is a winner and this isn't and so on. So 
The important thing to do, if you have an overall feeling that business is a reasonable place to have your money over a long period of time, is to invest over a long period of time and not make any bet implicitly by putting a big chunk in at a given time. This was all about Buffett's perspective on investing in index funds. What is your opinion on this? We would love to know your viewpoint, so please share it in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for our upcoming videos. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.